Alright, we are here testing the Kia EV6. Um, it's so cool because it feels like a normal car. It's uh, not that wide with regard to uh, the front and you feel like you're driving an ordinary car. I'm in normal mode right now and if you could look at the screen right now, it has a different um, ambience that you could set let's say on a rainy day on open air cafe oops all right and I'll go back to the calm ocean waves right okay Kia EV6 so as you can see this is the, the screen it's a wide one similar with the Hyundai Ioniq 5 that we have seen so this is the battery all right if you just scroll back you could set it to either you could change the climate all right um, automatic washer fluid use automatic auto dehumidifier smart ventilation defog de uh, defrost so as you can see you don't have to press anything anymore everything is set and then let's say let, let's go back the radio, of course the media, okay, the one that I have shown you earlier, right, sounds of nature, All right, we are in a snowy village right now, you go back to it, um, you look at the navigation system, alright, um, let's say you want to go somewhere, you know what, it's the normal thing, so I won't be explaining it anymore, um, of course, uh, voice memo if you thought of something while you're driving and so on and so forth. Let's move on to this side. This is what you can see. All right, we are now parked and you could change the driving mode. I'll be pressing this button here and this is what you can see. You could go in sport, normal, eco. Yep, so there, this, this is what happens. And if you look at this one, all right, uh, this is the push start button, all right? And this is the gear itself. So I'll be pressing on the brakes. Let's move it to reverse. Okay, that is what you can see. And it scans everything around you. All right, and then I'll be moving it to neutral. Go to neutral. All right, this is what you can see. Nothing. <laughs> and then move it to drive. All right, and I'm still pressing on the, the brake pedals and it shows you how many kilometers um, do I have on the right side. I'm gonna press on the park button. All right, and then I have to go to this side and pull this and that is the handbrake. So looking at the screen, I'm gonna press this one. This is what we can see, All right? The compass, of course, then the tire pressure. And we could also see um, the last break that we had. All right, and then this is the travel that we did. All right, and that's it. This is how you switch from the aircon to the other things here, like the radio. That's it. So going back to this one, as you can see, uh, we have the cup holders here, and this is where you could find the wireless charging port and then this is what you could see in the middle console and one thing cool about this one is it has an empty space just at the bottom of this right where you could put your big bottles or bag or whatever okay this is what you can see in the middle 
you have the charging port, the C port, and you also have these. So there are heaps of chargers, right? All right, let's check the surroundings. If you check in this one, this is this will be the back, and this will be the under the back. And then if you look at this one, look at this one, look at the seats, they are all recyclable, right? Okay, and now here on the passenger side, I will click on this one. And yep, it hits my knees, but it's just fair enough. It is deep, right? And that's it. I'm here at the back and there's this really big space here all right really big space which is really convenient there's nothing here in the middle all right as you can see and let's see if I sit here I'm still sitting comfortably all right now I'll go back here you can see here we have pockets that you could just pull and yeah both sides we have the charging ports here C ports here and the vents are on the sides this one and on that side. All right now we have, of course, the bottle uh, holder, similar with the other side there. Okay, and then similar with all other cars that we have reviewed, we have this middle part here that you could open. Okay, for you to put in a bigger space. Okay, it doesn't have the foot opening here. No. Okay, so you just have to press it. And then it opens. Now this pipe could be adjusted. Probably let's say if your garage is too small, it could still be adjusted for it could be programmed. So here is the good space. It's a huge space as you can see. Really long. Alright, and then you could control this just to move seats forward and similar similarly you could put this down just for you to have enough space for your luggage all right now if let's say you have an extra thing okay you could put it here and if you put it put this up this is tire mobility kit why do we have the tire mobility kit because this is now what you say run flat okay this is the common thing for normal cars of this time. Let's say you have, you want to have taller um, item with you, so you can pull this out, right? And you have a little bit of itch there, like let's say this is about two inches. All right, let's try the eye pedal. Okay, nothing, stepping on nothing, but it just stops. So similar with the Ionic 5, this tells you the, that there is a red light camera near you, so it will uh, give you a warning and it will tell you the speed limit of the, the road that you're driving on, so that you could check it out every now and then. Right? And it will beep if the red light camera is quite near. So, did you hear that beep? That's the sound of it. So overall, this is a good EV car. I would recommend that you get this if you are really keen. It's really quiet, okay, and it's really sleek.